Star-Lord comes in a question with high refresh rate AAA gaming. In his case, 144 hertz, 1080p specifically. So he says, hypothetically, how much video card would you buy for 1080p, 144 hertz, AAA gaming with a 5900X for buying as much future gaming without going too far? Example, would a 6800 XT with the 16 gigs of VRAM be too much? There is no too far. Maybe a 3090 for 1500 would be kind of dumb, but that's because that card's pretty dumb outside of a few corner cases. Modders who need the 24 gigs of VRAM who have 400 Skyrim mods and actually will use it. Outside of that, that card is pretty dumb. Having said that, a 6800 XT is not dumb. An RTX 3080 is not dumb. I recently did a video with eight games compared at 1080p on an i9-10900K at five gigahertz. Now he's got a Ryzen 5 5900X, mostly the same thing. His is a bit faster, Correct. but they are in the ballpark. Premium CPU, 1080p. Now you think, well, 1080p, an RTX 3080 or a 6800 XT, that's just dumb, right? <laughs> this is, a sa pardon the, the pause here, but this is Assassin's Creed Odyssey at high detail. There are two D cell settings higher than this. There is very high and there is ultra. Correct, so technically This is medium. medium. This is 1080p of really medium detail because there's two below, there's low, medium, high, very high, and ultra. So high is actually freaking medium detail. RTX 3080, 134 frames per second average with an 88 1% low. 1080p, high detail. This is an RTX 3080. And it won't do 144. No, no, this is Assassin's Creed and I get it 100%. This is, shall we say, not the most optimized game and Valhalla is even worse than this. It's not in this video, but I have tested Valhalla. Correct. Now to be sure, we can look at a game like Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Ooh, okay, well, that'll do it. But that's older, right? That's like two years old. Well, Assassin's Creed uh, Odyssey is a little bit older as well. But here's the kicker. You're right. This game is nearly two years old. But it's 1% lows aren't. It's 1% lows aren't. This is good, but if you are... His question, he's got a $550 CPU. He does. He's got a premium gaming system. He asked about is a 6800 XT or this a waste. They're about the same price. Or a waste. And he specifically said AAA gaming. Now, any of you watching, screaming at your monitors right now, going, <laughs> you tech idiots know nothing. You don't need seven or eight or $900 video cards to play uh, games at 144 frames per second at 1080p. Basic cards will do that. Esports, yes. But Star-Lord's question is AAA. Which means brand new, not released. Watch Dogs Legion. Or Cyberpunk, just released. Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Valhalla. If you want to play Fortnite, Overwatch, World of Tanks, World of Warships, War Thunder, Warframe, Titanfall 2, uh, Apex Legends, League of Legends, CSGO, Dota 2, Rainbow Six Siege, etc., etc., Hyperscape, no, you don't need an RTX 3080 to do that. And you won't need one for years to come. 1080p, 144 frames per second in those games is way easier to play. Correct. A, a, a 20, 60, 20, 70, a 30, 60 would be lovely. The high refresh rate is what changes it. No, it's the AAA games that change it. There you it. go. AAA, I didn't want to correct you. <laughs> the AAA games... Um, Cyberpunk 2077 will play just fine at 1080p on a, on a 2060 or 2070, a 3060. At uh, 60 frames a second. That, 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 that right there. Furthermore, you need a monster CPU because AAA games at high refresh rate take a lot of processor. The higher the frame rate, the more CPU you need. And if you want AAA games going forward, he's making the absolute correct choice to buy a Ryzen 9 5900X. Either a 5900X or a 10, uh, 10850K. I have a 10900K, but 
you should buy a 10850K. You know, on the day we're recording this, uh, Amazon has the uh, i9 10850K available for $399 with no rebates. I saw that. You posted that on Twitter. And a very lovely Z490 MSI Tomahawk motherboard with great power delivery and great features, fixed dial shield, the whole nine yards, $189. Oh, wow. Less... Less than 200 bucks. Less than $600 and you get... 700 when you throw the 360 AIO oh, on there. yeah. But, you know, here's Good the cooler. thing. It's available today. That's true. The, but at least when we're recording this, this, the Ryzen 9 5900X is impossible to find. So, uh, no. To answer Star Wars question, for AAA gaming at high frame rates, buy the graphics card, buy the most graphics card you can afford. And to be blunt, even at that resolution... You're going to be buying nice graphics cards for years to come. Do you have anything to add to this? Well, the only thing is the 3080 at 10 gigs. That's not going to last him very long. At is 1080p, he... the VRAM is less of an issue because the texture detail is lower. But it... It's the texture okay. detail that... I, normally, I would agree with you. But at 1080p, the texture resolution at 1080p is lower, and so the 10 gigs of VRAM shouldn't be an issue for the foreseeable future in AAA. Now, at 4K, it's a huge problem. At 1440p, he get maybe three years out of it. But at 1080p, the card will become obsolete before the 10 gigs of VRAM is a problem. So you can see this in Cyberpunk. It, the 10 gig is needed at 4K right now in Cyberpunk. 8 gigs is not enough, but at 1440p, 8 gigs is enough, and at 1080p, 6 is enough. There you go. And that's why NVIDIA is coming out with an RTX 3060 with 6 gigs because it, it's a 1080p card, even though people go it's $400 or, well, that's the TI. But at 1080p, 6 gigs will still be fine for, for, for the next few years. So 10 gigs will be plenty. There we go. There you go.